Angels, this is Mystique and I welcome you to my digital sacred space. I hope you are happy, healthy and healing wherever you are watching from. Today I am doing a very interesting topic for you guys. What is happening the first time you are cuddling with your future spouse or your soulmate or your destined person? So that is what this reading is going to be about and I have an oracle deck. This one is the Citadel Oracle deck and I'm going to be using this one to select your clients. Okay, there we go. Two cards for pile number three. I'll just take them. Maybe there are important messages there. So for pile number one, we have the Enchanter. Oh wow. I feel the energy is going to be really strong for the collective of today's reading. Don't worry about what it says here. You can just pick by the image. So for the first group we have Enchanta. For the second group we have the Archer. This is what your card looks like. And for the third, we have two. So we have the catalyst and we have the alchemist. So if you're drawn to any one of these cards, then pile three or group number three will be your reading. And the timestamps are going to be in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and skip to your reading you guys can go ahead and do that for those of you that want to stay with me throughout a ritual that i do before every reading it's called the prayer of gratitude it's just a small meditative little prayer that i offer to spirit and to your guides to you your future spouse their higher self just to bring in good energies before i tap into the reading but it's optional if you guys want to go ahead you can click on your pile and the timestamps will be in the description and for those of you that are staying for the prayer let's begin so firstly let's begin by calling upon spirit by opening our energies To newer frequencies, higher frequencies. Let's start by taking a deep breath and exhale. You don't have to control your breath, you just need to watch it, just observe where do you feel your breath the most, where do you feel life most in your body, breath is life and where do you feel it most in your body. Tap into it, breathe into the peace that you feel. You are allowed and capable of letting go of all of your anxiety, your worries, your impatience. Some of you cannot wait to meet your soulmate in the 3D, your future spouse, your destined person in the 3D. And Spirit just said, the union will be coming soon. The union for you is coming soon. I would like to begin by calling upon your spirit guides, your future spouse, your higher self, the higher self, your soulmate, your destined person, whoever you're asking about. 
my soul family's divine counterpart i call upon your energies with divine love and gratitude i ask you to connect with us today as we peek into the first time cuddling with my soul family's divine counterparts i call upon you dear spirit to protect this sacred space to protect my soul family and my energies during this reading from any negative energies any negative frequencies any negative entities any non physical beings energies vibrations frequencies that do not have the best interests of my soul family their soulmate their divine counterparts or me at their best interests i allow light beings and non physical beings that love my soul family to stay here to help us connect to higher energies to help us connect to their soulmate so that i can bring in all of the accurate messages the accurate information for my soul family us choose the direction that we are meant to go thank you dear spirit for allowing me to read for my divine collective my divine soul family and every single person who has clicked on this reading regardless of your gender your age i love you guys so much thank you so much for being part of my soul family even if you're here for the first time i welcome your energies in my heart and i thank you for sharing your energy with me and hopefully this reading can be an exciting or enlightening experience for you as we look into what is going to happen the first time you got in with your future spouse or your soulmate and with this i now close this prayer and ask your spirit guides to stay with me as i read thank you so much and let's begin with group number 1 take a deep breath and gently exhale and allow the energy of this reading to touch you and if you like this reading please feel free to claim it so that you can manifest it into this ready thank you so much divine souls i will see you at your group hello my loves if you chose group number 1 or you chose this beautiful card which is called the enchanter this is going to be your reading although on the card i'm so sorry guys if you can hear that although on the card it says deception and trickery right here i do not feel any energies of deception or trickery from your group or from your soulmate your future spouse i don't feel like there is any malicious or bad energy that is going to be in your relationship or going to be there in this person's energy field so i just wanted to clear that up before we get into your reading in case that is something that you were wondering about i feel like it's quite the opposite 
you guys i feel like one of you or both of you is going to be very enchanted with the other's presence and with the other's energy all right i feel like it's very energy based it's very energy based i feel like if you are the feminine watching this then your masculine is going to be quite enchanted with your energy specifically and i feel like they, it's not going to make sense to them it's almost like it's almost like i'm getting this feeling where they are so it's it's like there is a haze around you there is smoke around you and i'm not saying in terms of like there's literally smoke around you but i just feel like your energy comes off as very ethereal i'm being shown anna taylor joy i think that's her name she is um she plays the main character in the queen's gambit if you guys have heard of that series it's a great series please you know go ahead and watch it i totally suggest it uh but she plays an uh yeah she plays this uh female character who is such a genius almost but she's got her own issues that she needs to go through and i feel like one of you or both of you is going to be if you guys have any traumas or anything any wounds that you need to heal although i don't feel like this is the dominant energy in the reading to be honest the wounds and the trauma and all of that i do feel like because i feel like both of you guys are already doing a lot of healing work and if if your person is not doing the healing work if the masculine is not doing the healing work i i feel like the feminine will kind of bring that into the masculine's life so i feel like there is a good balance it's like you introduce spirituality peace and wisdom to the masculine and the masculine introduces protection energy enthusiasm initiation action um forward movement into the feminine's life and yeah let's get into your thread painting so i do have the thread ready and oh it's so tangled up <laughs> look at that i feel like you guys are going to be quite close physically the first time you cuddle okay spirit is asking me to leave it so i'm just they're telling me not to untangle it so i'm just going to leave it that way they are also telling me to take it on this side so this that is what we will do let me keep this aside so there is more space we also We're also going to pull tarot cards, so don't worry. First, uh oh, I hope the page doesn't tear. Yeah, yeah. The first time cuddling, you guys are going to be very, very physically close. I feel like. Your soulmate, your future spouse, wants to be as physically close to you as possible. That's just what I, I feel like. Right now, I'm not feeling too much of an S energy, okay? But I do feel like they're very, very satisfied with just having that physical contact with you. I feel like you, if you are the feminine, the feminine in this dynamic doesn't let the masculine. touch her physically even if it's like non s contact right right like holding hands or forehead kisses it's not allowed from the feminine side because the feminine doesn't know the intentions of the masculine so the feminine is like i need to know you honor my body and only then you will be allowed to touch or enter my sacred space my sacred physical body unless and until you prove yourself you will not be allowed so that's the kind of energy i feel so wow oh my god wow 
wow i think this is one of the most beautiful thread paintings that i have seen oh my gosh it is ethereal <laughs> wow this layer wow it looks like it looks like a stingray <laughs> and then spirit showed me like the waves crashing on the shore you know how the waves will kind of come up to the shore and then they recede they come up and then they recede and i feel like that's the kind of that's the kind of energy a masculine has i feel like you might have you guys could have been essay survivors you guys could be you guys ha could have some kind of trauma with physical touch uh, or you don't like uh physical intimacy specifically and that's okay and i just feel like your masculine knows that or one of the partners knows that and they don't want to make the other uncomfortable you know like forcing to open up or forcing any physical contact right if you're uncomfortable i'm also seeing that either you could ha could be autistic now please take it as it resonates of course everyone is not going to be autistic in this pile but if you do i feel like this person is you know being extra extra careful because they don't want to or if you're not autistic you could be someone who's very very sensitive to energies right if you're watching this obviously you're spiritual so obviously you're sensitive you're empathetic and i feel like your your soulmate your future spouse wants to be extra extra careful because they're like oh no you know i cannot f this up and they are approaching you in a super gentle way super gentle way it's like if you are not okay with holding hands and so they are always kind of watching for any physical signs of discomfort that you might portray you know like if you flinch then they'll immediately stop you know what i mean like if you if you are uncomfortable with the slightest slightest thing i feel like the masculine will stop because they honor your physical space so much i feel like they honor your body so much and it's i'm not getting that you know what um i'm not getting that they are chemically attracted to you okay now i know that uh, this message might not be something that you like because we're programmed to believe that attraction is something that is good but i feel like attraction is based on chemicals you know that like they are based on the hormones like the dopamine and the serotonin and all of that and i feel like passion or relationships or um relationships that start off very chemical very passionate usually fizzle out because chemicals fizzle out and chemistry is not um an indicator of genuine connection right and i feel like your future spouse your soulmate wants a genuine connection with you so i feel like there is so much energy of just them trying to be careful you know like they are just they don't want to invade a boundary even by mistake so they are constantly watching for any signs of discomfort i feel like they might watch your face they might ask you questions like are you okay with this are you okay with this but but i feel like the feminine here it doesn't matter what gender you are speaking in terms of energies the person who's got predominantly feminine energy or operates from a feminine energy the person who's got the feminine energy wants contact with the masculine and i feel like the feminine might might initiate like a hug and the masculine immediately understands oh you know the feminine wants to be comforted in a physical way and i'm i'm feeling like the first time cuddling is going to be very very based on comfort i'm not seeing anything s going on honestly for your group and i feel like that's a good thing like this is a green flag relationship okay um i know some people think that oh you know it has to be s or this and that but i feel like like i already said right relationships that start off on on chemicals don't last long they fizzle out they smoke out eventually the smoke clears and you know it's not interesting or exciting anymore uh, but relationships that are based on emotions that are based on connecting emotionally and that is set as the priority before connecting physically or being as intimate then i feel like those relationships last longer and i feel like your future spouse your soul made this person the masculine here wants to take their time to come towards you physically i feel like it's like it's not even something that they're thinking about when it comes to you uh please don't be sad i feel like that's a good thing because you know men sometimes they are like they can you know they they only want one thing right and i feel like this masculine is not like that 
okay this masculine is not like that this masculine is not interested in violating your physical boundaries without your permission so um it's like you know please don't worry about that i will never do something like that i also saw two faces right here and two like butterflies kind of the energy is kind of spreading out so i feel like the first time you cuddle with your future spouse your soulmate uh you're going to feel very warm you're going to you might cry or break down some of you not all of you because for the first i feel like the feminines here were not loved or one partner was not loved in their childhood or has some kind of wound with love and feeling wanted feeling loved feeling desired and i almost feel like tearing up but your spirit guides are not putting me completely in that pain of that that you felt because i will not be able to do this reading and but i am i am seeing that you guys were i'm seeing that you guys have some kind of wounds with being loved maybe your family didn't love you or there's just this feeling of like always feeling like an alien being ostracized being alienated from society from people and being misunderstood you guys could be my pile that are so different that feel like you feel so disconnected it's like you you don't even feel like you're a normal person because you're just so different and i feel like your soulmate is like you know what it doesn't matter because i love you and so what if you're different so what if you're different like we did not come here to be replicas of each other so it's fine and they love you as you are they love you for who you are i just heard come as you are and i feel like your your authenticity is something that turns on your soulmate your future spouse and i feel like for a small group of you a subgroup in this pile it could turn s but only if you want okay if you don't want it to be anything s then it's not going to be okay um I will be exploring this in the limited edition reading for those piles that you know are having some kind of s uh intimacy with your soulmate your future spouse and you know like cuddling turns into something s and it doesn't have to be like fully s even if it's something like kissing like I will do a reading for that but I cannot mention it over here because YouTube has very you know YouTube is very strict so I am just going to be reading the energy here for now let's start with your tarot cards and see what's coming out for you guys i feel like there is a lot of the priority is to make you feel comfortable for sure like so if you guys want to want anything else i feel like you guys will have to be the one that initiates that because the masculine is not going to like not going to do something that is a, like makes you feel uncomfortable i feel like they perceive it as you will be uncomfortable so you will have to tell them that oh you know i'm okay if you put your hands here i'm okay if you touch me here and i feel like the first time i'm seeing this i'm not going to say everything here because youtube but i'm seeing that if you cuddle and you you know like their warmth and you know you're feeling very comforted you're feeling very safe and you know you're feeling turned on then and if you take their the feminine takes the masculine's hand and put it puts it on her chest or somewhere like leg or hips like somewhere like that then the masculine is immediately like you know <laughs> inside and i feel like your masculine is, is going to be like calm 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 stay calm stay calm <laughs> but your soulmate your future spouse your masculine has zero chill <laughs> i feel like this is so cute and you do you see how the thread painting kind of mirrors the oracle card right here the enchanta yeah and i feel like your 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 future spouse your soulmate is going to have a hard time staying calm in your energy for sure yep and it's almost like if you take their hand and put it on your chest or something you know i see the feminine doing this to the masculine the feminine is going to be like relax relax like chill out okay inside they're talking to themselves not you and they're like relax just chill out like all the feminine did was take their hand that doesn't mean we're going to do everything tonight <laughs> and they're trying to stay calm 
<laughs> look at that we have the king of cups what did i say oh my gosh this wow i love the king of cups energy whenever it comes out for soulmate for a masculine this is like one of the best this is a masculine that is very in touch with emotions of himself and the people around him so i feel like it is going to be very very love focus and i don't feel like you guys are having s this first time that you guys cuddle i feel like you guys might just like make out a little bit and fall asleep okay or maybe you guys kiss for a little bit and then the feminine will stop the masculine and be like i'm going to sleep and the masculine is just like ready to go <laughs> but then the masculine is like oh like that's not what the feminine wants so we're going to sleep we're not going to do anything so i'm going to put the oh my god wow look at that you have the king of cups and the high pri oh my god wow wow look <laughs> i'm so sorry i know i do this <laughs> i'm sorry for reacting like this but i love when the cards come out like that it's just uh, it makes me so happy to see that you guys are in alignment with the most beautiful divine union because that's what you deserve so we've got high priestess your energy comes off very high priestessy yeah that is why this king of cups the masculine is the king of cups and the feminine is taking on this high priestess energy it's like whatever troubles whatever pains you had with the nine of swords energy you see how she's like you know like she's waking up from like a nightmare and it's like all of that will fade away if any of you have like sleep paralysis or nightmares i feel like when you when you just sleep with your future and i don't mean sleep in a s way i just mean like literally sleeping okay literally sleeping next to each other i feel like with your future spouse all these demons and all these nightmares will go away and you'll feel very comforted like you guys don't even have to be touching it's just that if you are on the same bed or the same like room i feel like you kind of sleep with more peace you sleep with more um uh comfort i want to say like because you feel safe okay now for a very very small amount of you i'm getting a message from spirit that you need to be careful okay uh somebody just for a small group of you not everyone maybe it's only one person i don't really know but for a very small group of you i'm feeling that spirit is asking you to be careful um because we do have deception trickery so i feel like your future spouse or your soulmate is not going to deceive or trick you but i feel like there could be someone else who is mimicking the behavior of your soulmate and uh, to to sleep with you okay they are mimicking the behavior or like they will do everything like they'll buy you gifts they'll make you feel safe they'll do this and that but it's only to sleep with you to have s with you they're trying to deceive you they're trying to trick you and i feel like that is why the deception and trickery card came out for you because firstly your soulmate is not going to trick you but there is someone else only for a small group of you that this person is going to try and trick you and mimic a soulmate's behavior you know so a spirit is like be careful don't fall for that your real soulmate is not going to do things like that okay and uh, hold off on physical intimacy if you can um the way your soulmate will never ever ever you know dishonor you or not respect your boundaries or act harshly or meanly towards you just because you say no to something okay so that's one difference that you'll be able to tell and this person who's trying to deceive you or trick you will be like oh why do you not want to hold hands but we have been together and if they like if you feel like you're being forced into you know giving physical contact even if it is holding hands it's it's the trickster it's the trickster energy and you need to leave get out as soon as you can okay get out as soon as you can this person is a big red flag you need to get away from this person and go towards the king of cups energy which is your soulmate because this person might not be your soul. this person is not your soulmate obviously they they don't they would look at the shit that they're trying to do so your king of cups is your soulmate and high priestess is your soulmate if you're the masculine watching this so this is it for your reading and i i think i covered pretty much everything i feel like you'll feel very whole with the with the wheel of fortune the 10 you'll feel very whole this is giving me like the 10 of cups energy so it's going to feel very it's going to be like an enriching experience it's going to be it's going to be really calm comforting and it's going to feel good 
it's going to feel good for you group number one i feel like it's it feels like finally coming back home that's what it's going to feel like it's like something is complete it's like ah my wishes have come true that's the kind of feeling because we have nine and then after nine is ten so my wish has come true wish fulfillment that's what i'm seeing like your desired person that is what you're manifesting that is what you're going to get your exact manifested person like whatever the ideal version you know ideal person is for you that is what you're going to get so don't wait uh, don't settle because this person is coming towards you and if somebody you know tries to deceive you trick you force you into something that you don't want to do you know um tries to eradicate your boundaries any boundaries physical boundaries emotional boundaries you're like i don't want to do this and they kind of like force you into it by playing the victim then please be careful because i feel like this person will try to play the victim and probably be like it's painful for me to not touch you it's painful for me to stay away from you and it's like be careful because your soulmate is never going to say such things okay they will just they will be like okay if you if you say no they'll be like okay cool they are not going to say anything after that they will not even like show their pain you know what i mean because they don't want to make you uncomfortable you are the priority not them so like if someone is playing a victim or is like you know i'm i'm in so much pain because i cannot touch you i cannot feel you and i want to feel your body like be very careful this person is uh, trying to trick you okay because your soulmate is not going to talk to you like that so that's what i'm getting for you my dear loves my dear loves that choose that chose group number 1 if you guys are interested in any of the s chemistry or any of the s details with your soulmate your future spouse i do have some limited edition readings still available so you guys can go ahead and email me if you want to book a personal reading you guys can go ahead and email me my email address is in the description and i will see you there um if not let's continue with pile 2 and i'm going to take the time to thank you to thank my dear guides to thank your future spouse your soulmate your higher self for coming through and let me show you the thread painting because it is so so beautiful this is what your thread painting looks like such interesting patterns right there so yeah i thank all of the gods that helped me give all of the messages i thank the beautiful sacred painting and i thank you my dear and divine group number 1 i'll see you in my next reading if not i thank you so much for watching this one bye Hello my loves if you choose group number 2 you choose this beautiful card called the archer immediately i heard the taylor swift song the archer i've been the archer i've been the prey and i don't know the rest of it but that's the line that i heard uh you guys could have been very wounded in love wounded by ex partners or some of you could have been divorced some of you could be in the middle of a divorce like i'm just with this arrow splitting you know the air in half i just feel like there there could be some kind of a split some kind of a breakup this is giving me a little bit of a three of swords energy either it's happening right now for some of you or it has happened in the past so if that resonates this is going to be your reading if you have been wounded specifically in a romantic partnership in a romantic relationship then i feel like this is going to be your reading so welcome my pile number 2s and let's begin with your thread painting i feel like some of you are new here or like here for the first time hello this is mystique and i am an artist and a spiritual medium so i'm going to start off first with taking this thread and drawing up a pattern on this i don't decide ever what comes out what i paint i never think about it i just straight up channel all of your energy into the painting so these are kind of like the energy portraits or energy paintings that i do this one is called thread painting there are other channel painting readings that i've done that are available on my channel in case you're interested in understanding or seeing the process of it um but yeah let's begin 
and I am so glad that you stumbled upon my channel. Thank you to you and Spirit for calling you here. So I'm going to, I'm picking up this thread and then, and then I'm going to place it on the paper. You see how the thread is so tangled up? I feel like the first time cuddling, oh oh, okay. The first time cuddling with your future spouse is going to be, I just heard like chaotic, <laughs> chaotic. Why chaotic spirit? Anyway, we will see. But I did hear chaotic. So let's close this off. First time cuddling with group number two's future spouse, soulmate, destined person, please tap me in. Some of you guys could have been attracted to group number one. I don't feel like all of you were, but only some of you. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel a very straightforward energy with you guys. Look at this. It literally, it's straight. It's literally straight. And that almost never happens in a thread painting because obviously the thread is not, you know, it's not straight. It's something that is almost like kind of formless. Like it's like a little bit like water. And it's like I'm almost being shown like a snail like one of you or both of you moves at a snail's pace in the relationship like you guys are taking it slow you don't want it to get you know physical very quickly i feel like both of you want to first like take your time i feel like this is the kind of like people here in this relationship that chose this group and this includes your future spouse your soulmate the person that you want both of you guys are the kind of people that are done with the kind of like casual situationships and all that kind of stuff you know the hookup culture stuff and it's like okay i'm looking for something real i'm looking for something that um like i'm looking for genuine partnership i'm not going to settle for anything less than that and it's almost like you guys are being reclusive like you're taking you're pulling your energy away from this like hookup culture and this you know like being on dating apps and stuff like that i feel like you might delete your profile and things like that like you're pulling back your energy and you're like wait i am looking for something meaningful i'm looking for something real and i don't want to indulge in the situationship drama and stuff like that anymore because it doesn't do good for my soul and it's like i'm not looking to satisfy my body i want something that satisfy satisfies my soul and as soon as you put that desire out there i feel like some of you might have already done that as soon as you desire for that it's like your destined person kind of you know it's like you're magnetically energetically in the 5d it's like this this is what i'm seeing like immediately you're like tsh, energetic match you know what i mean like you're you're being pulled into each other's energies into each other's frequencies in the higher dimensions in the 4d astral i just heard excuse me and yeah there could be some kind of a blockage but this is not a bad blockage i feel like actually blockage might not be the right word i feel like this is a kind of a boundary from the feminine i feel like the feminine is putting this boundary because you see like both of these are mirrors of each other but they there is no connection there is no interaction between both of these sides right in fact there is a huge gap this is one of like the biggest gaps so I feel like the feminine or one partner here is like putting some boundary and is like, no, wait, you know, like, I don't want to do all of this very quickly in the relationship. You know, you've already experienced that, you know, that chemistry eventually fizzles out. So it's like, wait, I don't want this. And then what I feel like it's you because you're the most spiritual one. So you're like, no, I'm not interested in that. And if you are, then you should leave me alone. And I feel like your soulmate is obviously looking for the same thing. And they're like, oh, wait, like, 
uh, I think the same way. Like I am on the same page as you. I am on the same wavelength as you. I get what you mean, and they are like agreeing with you. So it's like one snail finds another snail. You know what I'm sorry. I'm sorry for giving like the snail analogy. If you guys don't like gastropods, it's totally fine. But、um, gastropods are just slugs and snails, by the way.、Um, but yeah, like you know, like I just feel like. It's like you are having this kind of belief, right? And then you want a person who matches that, and your soulmate is going to match that exactly, because these are quite similar when you look at them side by side. These are similar, and sometimes you might think, "Oh, wait, like it's a thread painting." Of course, it's similar. Like that does not happen always. Okay, sometimes the images come out, and this one will be very different from this one. Okay, like it really depends on the energy, but this is one of the most symmetrical.、Um, Images that I have seen, right? The paintings that have come out for both of you. So I feel like they are going to match your energy and be like, "Oh wait, I think the same thing." And it's like, "Oh cool, like I am on the same page as you. I'm okay with that." And I feel like the feminine here or one of the partners is shocked. It's like, "Oh wait, like, oh you're okay with not being physical <laughs> within like us like five days." It's like, and it's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." The masculine is like, "Yeah, I'm fine. Like I'm interested in getting to know you. I'm interested in." Um, so I feel like there is a fifth house energy going on here. Like it starts off light, right? It's like it's like you guys are more interested in more like the mundane things about each other, right? Like what have you done in your life and things that are like ordinary. That's what your soulmate wants to know about you before they jump into bed. And I feel like one day. It's like something happens and one of you gets stuck at the other's place. I'm being shown like a rainy day, or something like thunder, or like something happens, and I feel like it's nature, and、uh, you like one of you gets stuck in the other's apartment, and you guys are having this like awkward <laughs> back and forth. It's like wait, like I can't go home, but like where should I sleep? And then. Uh, one of the partners is like, "Oh, you can sleep on the couch, and I'll like sleep in this room, you know, in in my bedroom." But then, in like the that person cannot sleep, and so the feminine is like, "Wait, you can, you know, come." Like it's literally, it's like a, it's like a fiction, you know, those like fictional love stories. It's literally like that, <laughs> and. You guys are having like a fictional love story kind of thing, like come to life. I feel like you guys could be my hopeless romantic pile or love romance, love like, you know, relationships and、um, like the idea of love and like you guys are so sweet. You guys could be my Libras, my Taurus. You don't have to be, but you could be. That's just like the energy that I'm picking up. Seventh house energy. And then so so one of the partners like tells the other partner who's like. Uh, sleeping on the couch, like to come because it's really cold because of the thunder, because of the storm or whatever is happening outside, and、uh, like you guys end up on the same bed, but both of you cannot sleep because you guys are like you know first time so close in a room with no interruptions, right? And it's like a little bit awkward in the beginning. It's like oh my god, like. I like this person so much, and I want to reach out and touch them, but I'm I don't I I won't. And none of you initiate any physical contact, is what I'm seeing for some of you.、Um, and I feel like after some time, it's like you just try to close your eyes, and you're changing like shifting positions, and it just doesn't work. So for a small group of you, I feel like you're just like you know what? I'm just gonna close my eyes and go to sleep. Like I'm not ready. You know, to have any physical thing、uh, with like this person at that point in time, you don't know that it's your soulmate. You don't know it's your future spouse, right? So you're like, you know, I'm not ready for this. Like, you put a pillow and you're like,、um, f this, I'm going to go to sleep. And for the other group of you, you guys are like, okay, wait, I can't sleep, and you're changing positions and you're changing positions. And then one of you suggests like, should we hold hands? And you guys like hold hands, and then it's like, oh, like. You know,、uh, can you like hold me from behind? I feel like one of you says that. Can you hold me from behind? <clears throat> hold on, let me just drink some water.
one of you suggested you know what let's try let's try uh, you know hold like holding hands let's try like can you hold me from behind and if it and it's it's just like you know it's like it's suggested as a let's try doing this you know like let's see if i fall like the person who's suggesting this is making it look like oh like it's not a big deal it's not like i want your hands around me as i sleep it's like you're saying it very casually i feel like the person who's saying this is saying it very casually like oh yeah can you just try like holding me <laughs> just to see if it feels good and you know it's going to feel good the person knows like whoever suggesting this knows is going to feel good but you know you're just making it look like like you don't want to look desperate okay i get it i get it you don't want to look desperate pile number 2 it's okay and um, you're just taking it slow and then they put their arm around you that i feel like it's the masculine putting the arm around the feminine and you're like whoa and the like the fir- I, i'm feeling like the first time that happens and i feel like the feminine is going to be the little spoon and the masculine is going to be the big spoon that's just what i'm feeling it can be the like the other way around that's fine but uh, the moment like the masculine puts the arm around the feminine it's like like you feel so much peace and i feel like you're looking out the window and maybe it's raining a lot or something is happening like i'm hearing the traffic i'm hearing sit like you know the la traffic like that's what i'm being shown like there are cars stuck and they're just honking like crazy and there's like so much chaos outside your apartment okay but in your room in your house it's so peaceful and i feel like some of you guys might have lit a candle or something i don't know if you guys like light like to light light candles before you sleep or like there's just like it's like the complete opposite in your room it's so warm it's so quiet it's so peaceful and i feel like the moment the masculine puts the arm around the feminine i feel like the feminine just like tsh, just falls asleep <laughs> and i feel like the feminine has this sense of like oh my god like this is what i wanted this is what i needed like i feel so safe i feel so cherished and i feel so protected and uh, i feel like that is all you do i don't see anything as i feel like some of you are disappointed i'm sorry but that's just what i'm seeing so i have to be honest with the energy that i see over here and look at this beautiful pattern i have to say this one is the most one of the most unique patterns for sure Yeah, the masculine could be very strong physically. I don't know if they have muscles, but the masculine is very strong. And I feel like the feminine feels very like, ooh, you know, like a little girl almost like. And that is not to deprecate the feminine, but I just feel like you feel very safe, like you feel, you know, like how like how do I explain this? You know, like <sighs> Wait, hold on a second. Let me let me frame this. Um you know how girls like guys that are really tall and it has less to do with like it's more about feeling like safe right feeling like you're like a little girl almost like feeling like you're taken care of you're protected and like you feel like oh you know there is like a tall strength tall person who is strong behind you and it's there for you and they're there for you and i feel like your your soulmate your future spouse could be very tall i feel like you you fit into their body like 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 a like a teddy bear like a small like i feel like they can fully envelop your body with their body like the masculine is pretty big and tall <laughs> so like the masculine envelops the feminine completely and i feel like this could be one of the relationships where there is a significant height difference right like the 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 masculine could be like 6 feet or even taller than 6 feet and then the feminine is just like 5 feet 5 or 5 feet 1 something like that like you know like ariana ariana grande that's what i'm being shown so if you are on the shorter side and if you are the feminine watching this if you're a female i feel like your soulmate your future spouse loves that because i feel like they just pick you up like that like they just you know like literally just pick you up like that 
wow the first time cuddling is so sweet i feel like this is the first time you're going to realize that wait this person's energy this masculine the feminine is realizing that this masculine brings so much calm into my life this 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 masculine brings so much calm so much protection so much loyalty and strength into my life and like this is what i needed and this is the first time you're realizing that as you drift off to sleep as the feminine drifts off to sleep it's the first time the feminine is realizing like god like this is what i wanted this is what i loved wow this is really this is so sweet i feel like this is one of the sweetest couples and i feel like things are going to get serious after this night i mean i feel like things were already serious i feel like your future spouse soulmate could have been very serious but you were maybe like you know like oh i just want to see how it goes and i don't i'm not going to invest myself fully like one of you is not investing fully and i feel like it's the feminine and i feel like it's the right choice because like like i said like the feminine or one of you or both of you have gone through a lot with your exes so you're just being careful you know and and your future spouse your soulmate or the masculine doesn't want to push the feminine and so they don't like it's very serious from the masculine side right like the masculine is like yo i'm going to protect you i'm going to love you you know but it's not uh, it's not it's not communicated directly in a forthright way in the beginning because they don't want to scare you and be like yo i want to put a ring on that finger you know like they don't want to scare you off and uh, you're like and they're just wondering like will you choose them but i feel like after this night you will choose them you will be like things will start to get i feel like in the morning the masculine could make some breakfast or something like that when you wake up and it's going to feel like you know how sometimes you'll spend the night and do <clears throat> s things and one of the partners wakes up and makes something for the other person like it feels like that it feels like you guys already had s it's going to feel like that but you both didn't so i feel i feel like there is some kind of like shyness some kind of like sweet cute awkwardness in the air it feels it feels it's very saccharine it's very sweet like it's almost like i can taste the air and it's sweet that's that's what spirit is showing me and it's like and you guys are like we haven't done it yet so why does it feel like we already have like it feels like the you know like it's a very domestic couple kind of vibe like we're already living in each other's apartment like that's the kind of feeling and i feel like first time both of you are going to be like wait maybe i want to spend my life with you <laughs> maybe maybe like you guys are considering that starting to consider that and i feel like one of you don't know that the other is your soulmate or the other is meant to be your future spouse so you're just being careful like i said before who so that is what i'm seeing for you guys i don't feel like pulling tarot or oracle cards for you um hold on yep um yeah i think this was it spirit didn't tell me to pull cards for you so i feel like the painting is going to be it and you know what let me get one card for you and we'll see what it is i feel like there could be something oh my god we have the lovers reversed okay i'm just going to put it back okay because youtube um lovers reversed yeah one of you or both of you might be turned on or her h o r n y but but i feel like they don't want to make the other uncomfortable so nothing is going to happen i feel like nothing is going to happen hold on let me just see yeah that is why it it came out reverse like you guys are not having s the first time you cuddle <laughs> and i feel like the feminine is going to be like i'm just going to go to sleep and i feel like the masculine might be might be awake for a long time after the feminine has fallen asleep because they they just cannot get comfortable if you know what i mean okay like they just cannot get comfortable enough to sleep they're like what am i supposed to do with this thing in my trousers <laughs> okay uh if you know you know and um yeah i just feel like they 
it takes a while for the masculine to just kind of calm down and fall asleep next to you i feel like they might not get a lot of sleep because they love how you smell and they cannot believe that they are in the same bed as you that you finally allowed them to share the same space to breathe your air and they are just so so honored and turned on and just like it's a mix of emotions that the masculine is feeling and the masculine is like well anyway i cannot sleep like and it's morning all of a sudden and then they're like oh might as well just wake up and like cook some food or something like make coffee for group number 2 when they wake up so that's what's going to happen for you group number 2 i i hope you enjoyed this reading i definitely enjoyed your energy and if you just pass your soulmate's energy i feel like this is one of the like sweetest couple sweetest people that i've read for and i'm so glad that you guys are here i'm so glad divine led you here i'm so happy i'm so honored to do to do this reading for you so happy that you are part of my soul family and your soulmate is quite happy to have you as well so i'm going to end your reading here if you would like to book a personal reading with me or purchase any 18 plus details in case you're wondering i do have some limited edition readings available so you guys can go ahead and email me on the email address in the description below so yeah i'll see you there and if not and if we are ending here then let me take the time to thank you my divine pile number 2 your future spouse your soulmate their higher self your spirit guides and all of the physical non physical beings and the beautiful painting and card thank you so much for allowing me to channel for my beautiful amazing handsome group number 2 and i will see you in my next reading if not i thank you so much for watching this one sending you a lot of love bye hello and welcome my dear loves if you chose group number 3 you chose these two cards called the catalyst or the alchemist and i feel like you guys could be my pile that does a lot of shadow work there's a lot of healing i feel like you guys are my pile that are not obsessed with future spouse readings or you don't watch future spouse readings or soulmate readings or destined person readings frequently i feel like you guys are very inwardly focused and you understand that you create your own reality and you need to heal your wounds in order to attract a soulmate relationship so i feel like you guys are always working on yourself or reading something like you guys could be making notes about your favorite meditations like like some i'm seeing some notes here so maybe you use the even digitally maybe you use the notes app or the any um, journal apps you know i feel like you do you could be doing a lot of journaling and i feel like you guys are naturally alchemizing your wounds ever since you were young and uh, you know the kind of energy that lexi the leo who's a tarot reader one of the ogs one of the best readers on youtube i love her so much uh, you know how her energy feels she's so spiritually evolved she's someone who's done a lot of inner work a lot of healing a lot of spiritually she's very spiritually awakened and aware and i feel like you guys have a similar energy you guys have a energy very similar similar to lexi that's what i was shown like i wanted to give you like a person whose energy is very similar so i feel like you guys have an idea and i feel like you guys have solved a lot of the problems i don't want to say problems but you guys have transmuted a lot and i'm seeing the word sonic i don't know why i'm seeing that s o n i c maybe it means something to someone i'm seeing sonic it's like you're creating life out of death you're creating rebirth after rebirth that's what i heard rebirth after rebirth you could have been attracted to group number 2 you don't have to be because i'm seeing this snail and there was literally anyway something similar in their group um yeah you could have been attracted to group number 2 if you were maybe there are some messages there if you were not that's okay too and i feel like you guys could could be my pile that is like you you attract maybe a lot of drama uh some like people want to get into your energy for no reason and f with you for no reason just because you know sometimes like spiritual people attract that okay like if you see megan fox like there are so many people that hate on her but she's someone who's very 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 in connection with divine she's someone who's very spiritual who's very intelligent but but, but people don't look beyond her physical appearance people don't look beyond her sexuality 
and see that she is a person that she's not just like this doll thing that people make her out to be you know what i mean and i feel like at first it might not it might not have made sense as to why you're always like getting a lot of this hate or you know bad things are always happening to you like tower moments are happening around you or to you and it might not have made sense it's because you're here to bring newer frequencies and newer like light codes you're here to you're here to make space for the new earth new energies new frequencies to come in right and i feel like one of the ways could be through your child that's what i'm seeing for some of you which is why your life is kind of difficult because people there are people that don't want the earth to evolve into a high frequency right we are going from 3d to 4d and 4d to 5 but there are some beings that don't want earth to ascend to the high frequency so i feel like they create a lot of obstacles in your path but i feel like they have failed to dim your light group number 3 they have failed to dim your light anyway that was a message that just wanted to come through i know it had nothing to do with like cuddles and stuff like that we will get into it so let's go i'm going to start with your thread painting i feel like a lot of you could be new here or like here for the first time hello guys my name is mystique and i do a lot of i'm so sorry for the camera shake and i do a lot of what i call uh watercolor readings because i am an artist and i basically like to merge art and spirituality so i invented this method of doing watercolor readings and using art to channel instead of coffee grounds or stuff like that if you guys have seen those coffee ground readings this is a bit similar to that except i'm using art so i have a lot of different types of watercolor readings on my channel this one is called thread painting but there are many other there are channel painting readings and there are ones where i directly read from the water itself so or the bowl itself so yeah there are different types if you guys are curious or want to know more then yeah you can go to my channel and see what it's about but for now i'm going to focus on what is coming out i'm not going to waste too much time explaining what watercolor readings are that's not what you're here for oh wow oh my god wow wow this is one of the most beautiful patterns that came in so basically these thread paintings function like a rose chart test right but instead of reading your your psychology i am reading your energy and your soulmate your future spouse energy so i feel like there's this almost like this tom and jerry kind of vibe with you both um this could be my pile that is like enemies to lovers trope or like you know this is giving me like kathani and anthony from Brid bridgerton if you guys have know about that very famous amazing series then this is giving me that like you guys might not start off on like you guys start off on the wrong foot i feel like that's what's going on and i feel like maybe one of you or the other apologizes to other and it's like oh i'm so sorry maybe we started off the wrong foot like let's begin again and i feel like for some of you only for some of you the other person might be like i think you might be like no <laughs> and you might walk away and then your soulmate if at that time i feel obviously you don't know that you know this person is your soulmate your future spouse so um you're like i um i'm not interested i feel like that's the kind of vibe i feel from you you're like you're cold like you know how kathani is like she will have none of anthony's bull ish right and and i just feel like i get that kind of vibe from you like you're really strong you you guys are really you could be taurus you could be aries you don't have to be but i'm feeling like this stubborn kind of energy from you like you don't back down you don't back down you're really stubborn it's like if you if something is happening wrong and if something like someone is treating with like 
being disrespected and you're there like you're going to stand up for that person you're going to stand up for yourself and you're not going to allow that to happen and i just feel like you have such a strong energy that your and your future spouse your soulmate also has a very strong energy just like you okay so they are also in your energy they are also an energetic match in terms of strength and volatility and passion but i feel like that is why you guys are kind of like butting heads you know what i mean like i'm just seeing that like you guys are butting heads it might not start off sweet it might not start off sweet that's just what i'm seeing and when i i'm seeing for the first time cuddling i feel like it happens against your will in some way like i don't mean like it's not consensual it is but there's something about like oh that is why i was getting pile number 2 because pile number 2 had this situation where they were stuck and the and their person had to stay over at their apartment or their house and i feel like you guys also <clears throat> have like a similar kind of a thing going on where you guys are like stuck together in one place and it's like you guys are just being awkward like oh my god like what are we supposed to do now like i don't even like this person you know what i mean and it's like you're forced to know each other and i feel like when you get to know each other you're like huh you know uh, do you know that scene in bridgerton where they are playing this game i forgot what is called palma yeah i think it's called palma i'm not really sure and then they like they kick the ball in some like we, like green tree forest area which is like really far and then they have to go and get the ball and so kathani goes she's like i'm not going to give up you know and she goes and anthony also follows her and he's like okay fine i'm not going to give up either <laughs> and he follows her and and they have this kind of like they get stuck there and they have this kind of like a little talk and they're like oh so that's what it is you know you know like they become almost like friends because like like he explains to her that he is the eldest in the house and then she explains to him that she is also the elder daughter right the elder sister of her she's she's got a younger sister uh, i think it's played i think she's played by charitra and um wonderful wonderful beautiful actresses and he, she tells him that you know what like i have the same responsibility like you and i feel like that is why they kind of butt heads because you guys have a very strong personality and i, I don't feel like it's because you guys hate each other or like there's you know like you're bad or something like it's not like that like eventually they both realize that oh wait a second we're both quite similar and we are looking for you know like i just want the best for my sister and he wants best for his brother and for himself so and for his family because you know his father um died um anthony you know so she, she so he's the elder he's the eldest son so you know everything comes on him now he's supposed to be responsible and he doesn't even get time to grieve his father's death because it's like oh wait you you're the man of the house and now you have this and like you know your and so he develops this kind of strong personality and you see that oh wait maybe he's not like so bad as you know as you see in season 1 and he's not uh, he's someone that deeply cares for people and you see and you understand his kind of psychology and stuff like that and i feel like it's going to be a little bit like that from the feminine side like you guys might not understand why you are the way you are like why are why is this person being so stubborn you know and it's like wait like you're seeing their perspective like this and then anthony sees kathani's perspective that oh wait she's also the eldest daughter like they have come from afar they don't have a father as well and they don't have a mother or something about that like i think they have a family but their family disowned them or something like there's some kind of pact i forgot what happened in that but basically you know like they have to get married before they get old and kathani is already old and you know everybody's like oh my god she's old like who are you going to get married like you're past that age and kathani is like i don't want to get married you know <laughs> i will only marry for passion or love and that's why i'm going to die an old maid like i'm hearing the um, i'm hearing pride and prejudice where kira nightly says something like that in the her character says something like that that i will only marry for love i will only marry for passion that's why i'm going to die an old maid like that's what she says and i feel like you guys are like that like you guys are strong like i'm getting the female character in pride and prejudice i'm getting kathani sharma from Bridget, bridgerton so the feminines here are really strong people the feminines here are really like confident and really stand in their personal power and they take responsibility they stand up for themselves and i feel like this is something that could be like an oppositional point at first 
but eventually i feel like i feel like it's going to kind of dissolve as you guys understand each other's perspective as you guys understand where the other person comes from and i feel like the first time cuddling with your soulmate your future spouse i feel like it's almost happening because you guys are stuck in in one place in a place and you guys like can't get up or can't escape or like don't get scared it's nothing scary like you know like nobody kidnapped you or something like that but i just feel like you know how like in pile number 2 it was like wait there's you know a storm outside and so the uh, like the person cannot travel to go somewhere because the roads are blocked there's too much traffic there's too much water and it's like oh it's dangerous to go outside right now let's just you know like you can stay here and then leave in the morning if the situation gets better and it's like it's a little bit like that it's that's the same it's the same kind of vibe but their energy was obviously different but i feel like it's similar in the sense that you guys are also it's like the divine forces you together to kind of rec- like reconcile and apologize and gives you a chance to get to know each other deeper and the divine is almost like your spirit guides are almost like putting you in this place to see that you guys are actually quite similar like there is no gap between you two guys energetically you guys are quite similar it's like your reflections of each other but you might have thought oh i'm nothing like you you know what i mean like i'm nothing like you i will never like you i'm never going to be attracted to you oh my god i cannot stand this person like that's the kind of vibe i get i you know what like there's so much information that's coming through about like how you guys are starting but um but when i tap into the energy of what is happening the first time cuddling i'm not being shown anything specific like i'm just being shown it's like they don't want to take me into what is like what is literally happening during the cuddle like they're keeping that information out it's like they don't want me to know they don't want anyone else to know what's going to go down wink wink um <laughs> Um uh, yeah hold on I feel like this could be after a fight or you guys might end up fighting after it's like you guys like you say one thing and it sets the other person off or the masculine says one thing and it sets the feminine off it's like you both of you don't back down like both of you are like oh oh so this is what that's why you're doing this and it's like you don't hold back you know like none of you hold back neither of you hold back and it's just like it's like just a back and forth like a lot of banter going on like you know swords being exchanged i don't feel like you're being mean to each other but i do feel like you're going to be like oh so like i feel like there's a lot of sarcasm in this file you're going to be like oh so you oh you're doing that for that reason oh really that is so smart <laughs> and i feel like you guys are being very very sarcastic and then the other person is like oh if you know better then why don't you do it and like that's the kind of energy i'm picking up from from your group yeah you guys are magical you guys are alchemists and when your soulmate falls in love with you oh my god it's like that you know you know that there's one quote that it says like you you fall in love like you fall asleep like slowly and then all at first but your future spouse is not slowly fall- there is no process okay they are just straight up like in and they are in love and it's going to be like an earthquake moment of realization almost like a tower moment almost and they're going to be like oh my god wait like i'm in love with group number 3 like and everyone knows because they keep talking about you right like they 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 keep like oh my god group number 3 did this group number 3 that group number 3 this and like everyone knows that they are obsessed with you The only person that doesn't know is themselves your future spouse your soulmate and your soulmate is like oh my god i am in love aren't i and i feel like the moment they realize i feel that they're just going to come towards you and i feel like when they come towards you and they tell you they love you you're not going to accept them immediately you're going to be like oh where did this come from like you're looking at it more in a logical way because you've been through a lot so you don't even though you feel the chemistry between you both it's like you want to know if it's real you know what i mean because at first you didn't get along very well so suddenly if they come towards you like that then it's like wait what's going on you know like it's like it's setting off some red flags for you although this person is not a red flag obviously but 
it sets off like some kind of like this oh I, i need to be careful you know like that kind of a feeling and yeah that's what i'm seeing um that's what i'm seeing you're being careful with yourself like you want to slowly this is not the kind of relationship you envision maybe some of you don't like enemies to lovers kind of trope and that's what i'm getting you know um you don't want that kind of stuff but then like spirit has other plans for you universe has other plans for you you know what i mean like and it's magic it's you're going to end up loving it of course but it might not happen the way you want it to your first cuddle your your whatever is happening with your future spouse your person it might not happen it's going to be very unexpected and your spirit guides are not giving me too much information about what is happening the first time you cuddle i'm just being told that divine is going to like put you in the same place or let's say you go to a party and you're not you know like you just go to a party for fun and then this person also shows up and it's like wait you're here you're here it's like it's like that kind of a feeling you know like why are you here and it's like huh i know the host of this party they invited me and it's like why are you here well i know the host of the party too <laughs> like that's the kind of feeling i'm getting and you're like huh huh you know like that's what i'm getting uh yeah you guys are very very good at butting heads and i feel like i feel like you guys are go- like acting like a married couple like you guys fight like a married couple and everyone knows and it's like wait we are just waiting for group number 3 and their person to catch up and be like oh wait we're in love you know and to make it official cuz they cannot get enough of each other and uh, yeah this is also so sweet this also feels like the, the you, you, group number 2 and 3 story feels like it has come out of like and group number 1 as well um it feels like it like you guys came out of like a love story or something <laughs> like a movie or something like you guys are real life movie real life romantic movie that's what i'm feeling very very movie vibes cinema vibes this gives anyway that's i feel like that's it for you let me just get some tarot cards in case we get more information so anything okay okay three cards anything that you can tell us ooh look at that nine of cups i feel like your future spouse your soulmate is very happy in their life but they don't have the 10th cup and you are that ultimate wish fulfillment but they realize that they need to work hard for you we've got the three of pentacles in reverse and we have the knight of cups oh look at that and the knight of cups came out reversed yeah um this person is not immediately going to tell you that they love you i feel like it's going to take them a while to kind of be like i love you because they don't want to get rejected by you you know what i mean like they just have this idea that oh group number 3 is going to reject me you know they don't like me like we fight all the time and this and that but i feel like you'll give them a chance group number 3 and we have 3 of pentacles oh my god look at that and 3 three threes and 9 wow 3 could be important for you anyway back to the reading <sighs> yeah it's like maybe somebody tries to get in between you you know how in bridgerton he's kind of obligated to marry the younger daughter and not the older and kathani is the older daughter right it's not like like she is trying to keep Anthony away from Kathani but like he's betrothed betrothed to her but then at the end when she when they it's almost at the point of like getting married and she straight up like looking at that and she's like oh my god they're in love like i don't want to get married to him I, this this guy is in love with someone else and she decides something else and i feel like i feel like somebody tries to come in between you guys but it's not going to work it's it's going to fail spirit will make sure that this whatever this is going on this blockage fails and doesn't work and i feel like you guys will end up together and and look at that we have the 9 of cups and there is only one cup missing for 10 and the knight of cups has one cup so it's like 9 plus 1 is 10 so i feel like they're hesitating to give you this cup of love to offer you this commitment but i feel like they'll eventually do it like they will be like i feel like you guys might end up in a room like a library or something you know this is giving me very strong bridget and vibes you guys like i'm being taken to so many scenes and i haven't thought about that series because i saw it a long time ago and spirit is just like giving me so many cine- scenes from that series so you guys should really go ahead and watch the series it's one of my favorites and it's really good it's really good 
and uh, there's this scene where they're kind of in the library at night because they cannot sleep and he realizes that oh kathani is already there but and uh, they kind of like their eyes lock and then i think one of them leaves but in your scenario i feel like the other person is not leaving the other person will come inside and like try to talk to you and like probably be f- i feel like your future spouse your soulmate might start off being friends with you and kind of slowly initiating you into it and i feel like it's up to you to kind of accept their advances it's up to you to be like okay you know what it's fine like i get it you're my soulmate and if you want to accept it but i feel like you you won't you won't accept it very easily you want to accept your person very easily you make them work hard for you group number 3 and i feel like that's good you know that's good on you you should do that especially if you're the feminine <laughs> you, sh- you you totally should be in your power kudos to you group number 3 i love love your personality i wish i could be friends with you i love confident women i love confident people here on the channel i love you guys so so much this is what i'm seeing for you i hope you enjoyed whoa i hope you enjoyed this reading and thank you so much for tuning in i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next reading if not i thank you so much for watching this one if you guys want to book a personal reading or want to purchase any limited edition readings my email address is in the description and i will see you there bye